Now, when it comes to flat roofs here in Australia, we always fall back to the old clip lock profile roof. And, and clip lock is the brand that is owned by Lysart, who pioneered the flat profile roof sheets. And when it comes to the flat profile roof sheets, I've got my favorite and I've got some not so favorites. And it just happens that the clip lock roof by Lysart is one of my not so favorites. And it also applies to the Stramat Speed Deck Ultra, which is also in the same category as the clip lock has been not my favorite. And so what's my favorite? Well, we'll come to that a bit later on. What we're gonna do is demonstrate the Stramat Speed Deck. And the Lysart Clip Lock 700 series have got a very similar design to the Stramat Ultra 700 series. So this is the Stramat Ultra 700 series. And that's kind of what it looks like. You've got the leading edge right there, and that's the trailing edge. So the next sheet goes over the top of that. Now, we're going to put this through its paces and see how it performs. We've got this panel of speed deck supported at 1.8 meters. And 0.48 speed deck is rated to be able to span 2.4 meters. So we're going to go a bit conservative and just use 1.8 as the span. All right, what happens is that you would lay this sheet and then you would put the clips down. And the, and the next thing you need to do is grab another sheet and lay it on top. If you've got your purling space at 1.8, you would go grab a sheet, and I'm demonstrating this without the added weight of the sheet. And you would walk along here, and this is meat span, and this supports you quite well. But if you were to go, oh, I'm going to put this sheet right there, I'm going to stand this. See what happens. So you've got now a permanent buckle right there. And the, and the sheet's actually cracked. So this sheet cannot physically support someone over the 1.8 meter span if you were going to go and lay another sheet on top. So you can see the damage right there. So obviously this is not all that good. Now I would call it a failure. And that's why the Cliplock 700 and the Stramat Ultra 700 is not in my good list. So what is the option if you were to do a flat metal deck roof and you've got purling that space 1.8 or even further apart? Obviously, if the purlins are sp spaced closer, then you don't have the problem of the collapsing front edge. But if you have purlins that are spaced at its limits, 1.8 or even 2.4, then you're gonna think, what's my options? Well, there is another option, and let's demonstrate this. Well, let's have a look at this. The same sort of profile, 0.48, and same purling spacing. All right, now we've got one of my favorite products in this range, the 700 range. And this is a product made by Stratco here in Sydney. It's called the Top Deck Profile. And straight away you'll notice that the leading edge has got a different design than the Stramat product. So let's put this through its paces. Same deal. Walk along, same span, as you can see, this is quite strong here, and if you were to grip right there, put my full weight on this pan, right here, and I'm laying the next sheet, even though that's not what I'm going to do, because the next sheet goes over here. So, the worst 
case where I'm putting my full weight on one single pan, just the last pan. See how much stronger it is? And you've got no failure along there. So, I'm standing right in the middle. So that's the difference between the two. Span, see how strong it is. So, this product's going to be number one. So this here, I feel, is a vastly superior engineering design and uh, I think I've demonstrated that to that design, which is the Stramit design and also the Cliplock 700 design, which has got a very weak leading edge, as opposed to the top deck, which has got a very, very strong leading edge and you don't have the damage on the leading edge which this particular design is more susceptible to. So, why do you think I choose top deck for most of my roofs?